protection here very healthy volumes. So basically Nifty and Bank Nifty are both uh, you know uh, very very close to break. With <coughs> no rejection. This is the first point. <coughs> Sorry. And this is the most important point, right? So one thing is very clear, please don't short at this level. Oh, why is there no audio? People are saying no audio. Hello? Oh, hold on. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll start from scratch, but can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. So I'll start from scratch and what I'll do is I'll uh, make the guys remove the beginning which is, you know, Koda gone. So the most important chart to now realize is this. Nifty is testing the blue trend line. It is very, very likely to break out. Also because there is a lot of volume today. Bank Nifty is testing the blue trend line. Again, it has super mega volumes today. It has the, it's at a local all time high. I will be very surprised if Bank Nifty and Nifty don't go higher from here. This looks like a very definite breakout. Why? Because there is no sign absolutely of um, any kind of rejection, right? So there's no rejection. There's a lot of <coughs> up move from uh, the bottom. There's a lot of volumes also. All of this put together basically means that very likely breakout is coming up in all probability. So charts are saying that. Now because we are doing it on a Thursday, we look at weekly chart. Weekly chart also is <coughs> confirming the bullish engulfing at a local maximum high. Again, if you look at Nifty, it confirmed the bullish engulfing uh, on monthly, on weekly also it is giving, it is rejecting the rejection. And finally, if you look at monthly, monthly it is confirming the bullish engulfing and again going up, right? Now the catch is this, there is a small probability that Nifty might break this trend line, sorry, very high probability. Uh, but there is also a probability that it might reverse from here. But the catch is, we should not assume that it is going to reverse and short. We should short only if a reversal candle comes, a signal comes, rejection comes, something has to come, right? But right now there is no rejection, there is no reversal signal, there is no reversal candle, nothing. It is going one way up strongly. Which means that, <clears throat> what does that mean? It means that the breakout is very, very likely. Unless, of course, we find a re reversal candle tomorrow or something, in which case we'll have to change our view, right? But as of now, both are looking very strong. Now, let's look at open interest charts for next week, right? So, this is 15th September expiry. Nothing much. This is only day one. Again, nothing here. This is only day one. 15,000 and 18,000 has something, but it doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> uh, so, we can ignore this completely. FIA data is interesting. So, although there are more puts than calls, uh, and this you can ignore because it's expiry data. Index futures, they have bought 800 crores. Stocks, they have bought 3000 crores. <coughs> so, net, net. And OI also has increased, right? It used to be 9000 9, crores on 30th August. Now it is 14000 crores. So, this is a very strong looking FII position. So, FII option data is neutral. Futures data is bullish. Uh, stock data is bullish. So, verdict is a breakout above... 17800 is very likely which means that see what is a breakout breakout is a very sudden big move with a lot of movement right 300 point 400 point 500 point whatever it is if you are playing a breakout breakout has two characteristics one it is big the other it is quick so if you are expecting a big quick up move you have to always play it with calls naked calls or call spreads even right whatever you do do not short here unless and until you find a reversal signal. So why am I bullish? Because ye blue trend line pe, there is absolutely no sign of reversal. Ye weekly chart pe, there was a rejection week but that rejection week is completely gone. And there is no rejection from the blue trend line also. And again, right, look at this, no rejection here absolutely. So now one of the things I know about 
I mean, I've observed over the years is that 17800, right? Sorry. Take extra zero, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> one of the, maybe in another 100 years. Now, one of the things I've always noticed about uh, from all my trading experience is that uh, a bull market has one very specific characteristic. One, it ignores bad news. <laughs> to a lot of people say, Ki, boss, this level justify nahi kar sakte. how can you justify this level? <clears throat> There's a lot of people who say that market is overpriced, overpriced, overpriced. Now, <coughs> sorry, the catch is this, right? The level justification is thoda blank, right? I mean, what do you mean by level justification, right? Market will do whatever it wants to do. It can stay uh, irrational more than we can remain solvent. So, we have to be long even if everything looks bad like maybe europe is looking bad maybe there's a war, war going to happen maybe there's china taiwan etc all of this is fine <clears throat> you should be short probably but the question is this right if you short at 18000 and market goes to 18500 and eventually it reverses to 17000 you're still going to probably stop out when you're 500 points out so it is important that you don't short early most of the intelligent people i know <laughs> who are very good with predicting markets right even the big short boys and all all of them shorted early and incurred negative mtm in in 2010 when i was trading currencies and interest rates in icica a lot of my trader friends knew that this can't sustain <clears throat> and they started shorting from 5500 right they were eventually proved right and nifty corrected to probably 4000 or something but market went to 6300 by diwali that was another uh, 700 points from where all these boys shorted and 700 points from on a nifty base of 5600 is almost like 8 percent so <clears throat> nifty can go up way more than what we all expect then stop loss laga ke shayad it can correct right the point is if you think that world economy is bad and level is not justified inflation is coming quantitative tightening is happening there's a war happening etc wait for the market to at least start factoring it right so market will give you a trend line rejection market will give you a reversal candle there may be there's a bearish uh, engulfing bearish shoot, uh, shooting star or a bearish harami or something wait for some signal to come from pure price action right if you are thinking that boss war hai inflation hai quantitative easing hai kuch to hoga and then you are going to predict the top of the market then if the market goes higher you are chumma going to end up putting stop loss whereas if you short when somebody else has started shorting and there's a reversal candle Maybe you will miss the first 100, 200, 300 points. Yar, jane do yar. Uske baad, at least you won't be stopped out by up move, right? So my point is this, right? So I'll just quickly, uh, you know, show my small simple point, right? See, the meta is, you know, <clears throat> we are here, right? And many of you might be thinking that it will eventually reach here, right? Maybe this is 14,000 or whatever. May, I mean, I'm just saying this because, see, bull market ke liye I don't have to explain anything, right? Market to bull market kari hai. I'm just trying to protect those who are trying to short here. My point is, if you're short here and if it goes SA and goes down, basically you will stop out here and you will lose money. Ye, ye karne se acha hai ki aap yaha pe short kar lo na like on the way down right if you want to short that is you won't catch this entire po first 200 300 points but at least you won't be stopped out in its way up right and yeah there will be some shooting star or <coughs> bearish engulfing or some stuff like that or imagine somebody who had shorted here right Uska to cut gaya hoga. but imagine somebody who shorted here yes he did not get the absolute top but he what a very nice smooth ride all the way here or you can short here right once this bearish engulfing is confirmed then there's a nice smooth ride here the point is if you're going to short without a reversal signal <coughs> then you'll end up paying a very high price so if you have any plans to short please <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, please don't get into the you know enthusiasm of getting into a short so no matter what you do please don't short till a reversal signal comes when reversal signal comes, i'll also short with you right in fact I have a bearish view, so what I'm doing is I'm not taking any trade because dar lagta hai yaar. Mere ko short karna nahi hai. Long term mein dar lagta hai kya karunga? I just emptied all my portfolio holdings and all my money is in a mixture of GSEC and T-bill right now. Right? I will not make equity level returns of 10-12% a year average, but I'm happy getting 7-7.5% on an average. Right? 
so basically <coughs> basically this is my outlook right finally going to UJNR, UJNR has corrected a little bit but I don't know how sustainable that correction on UJNR is because now it is again taking support at the 50 DMA so above 50 DMA I am always going to be long dollar if it cracks it's a different story right so <coughs> right so this is my read on the markets as of now we'll see you again on sunday uh, evening uh, so till then as usual you know please don't take this as tapes recommendation or anything in fact it is nothing because i don't have a question right i mean i didn't have a question yesterday i don't have any overnights today in fact just to make i mean i'll be honest right just to make sure right that uh, i don't do anything really stupid i actually went and activated the kill switch on my broker i am not going to like i'm very super super tempted to short Therefore, I activated the kill switch. I kid you not. I really activated the kill switch. Also, because I just want to do nothing else except some massive project in Sensible we are working on these days, right? So, basically, I am on kill switch. I will probably look at the market whenever it shows a reversal signal. I will reactivate it. 12 hours, I will start trading. I will take a very nice shot if you are with me. But right now, I am not, not going to do anything. <coughs> so, uh, so, so, that is my read on the market. As usual, guys, <coughs> please, uh, so much ke trade. And, you know, as usual, please take care 